So, hello and welcome. This is my say warping tutorial for Half Life 2 Old Engine. So, to clear out things, um, I'm gonna repeat myself after my um, how to set up your binds uh, video. So, you're gonna need alias. If you follow my binds tutorial, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. So, wait 300. So, you're gonna use this command. Uh, weight 300, load ff, weight 300. So this is my primary orb save. And usually it depends on how fast your computer is. You can play around with the values. I usually use 600 since I have a pretty decent PC. But this is one of the commands that you're gonna use. The other command is just l using the um, weight load command that, exec that uh, activates the alias which activates the save warping and obviously these are my these are my saves so this is my primary warp save and this is if I want to load back my primary sa uh, warp save to fix like, any mistakes that I've actually made so let me grab this pallet and I'm gonna demonstrate how save warping works. Oops, my bad. So, first, let me demonstrate normally. So, this next lamp, this is the level change trigger. If I go through a trigger normally, I'll obviously spawn on the next map, like where where I should actually be. But if I, for example, as you can see, safe here with my primary orb safe, and go down here. Let me show triggers. So what wait command does is. For example, 1000. So I'm gonna do this for like uh, the tutorial purposes. So bind why you want wait 1000. You can see how last time when I entered a trigger, I instantly went into the loading zone. But if I use the wait trigger, you can see I passed through a trigger and then after a certain period, the game loads the safe. So for example, I'm gonna, gonna do it like here I'm gonna make a save here I'm gonna go through and I'm right here but if I use the wait command you can see how it delays and I'm a little bit further use by utilizing this if I use my uh, primary orb key so this is where my primary save was and I use my um, primary warp key like so you can see I'm in a totally different location and then I can just clip um, in bounds so this is how say warping actually works you're gonna be utilizing it a lot in, in runs and let me show you another aspect of um, save warping. Yeah, so for example, since you're obviously speedrunning, attempting to speedrun Half Life, you obviously know what no clip is. So here's no clip. It says it's on. And no clip off. So, if I enter any vehicle in Half-Life and type no clip, off. So, for, ex for some reason, when you enter a vehicle in Half-Life, uh, the game automatically gives you no clip. So, if I make a save inside the vehicle, and I just continue to the next level change trigger, Uh, 
and this is the next level change here. If I warp through it, the same way, the game is gonna give me no clip. I'm sorry. Um, it's probably because because I, I disabled it. So again, here, go back and save inside the boat, and the game here. I'm in no clip, and the way to disable a no clip is you can fly up to the next to a barnacle and you can get stuck inside their tongue and there we go you're back in a solid state but there's a little catch will which I'm gonna explain later and yeah um, my bad yeah this is what I actually have to say about a um, say warping and you just get you get a feel about say warping and my actual tutorial when I'm explaining um, how to do the route. It takes a little bit of practice to get, but trust me, it's not it's not as hard as it looks. And I know it sounds compl complicated, but it's re it's really not. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video, which I'll be explaining Jglip. See ya.